This is going to be another one of my installments of things I wish I would have expected while before transitioning. Yeah, this one in particularly, typically I'll do like three things per video, but this one I wanted to dedicate towards friends because um, I feel like I, it's like kind of something I really wish I would have known. But also I got like a few emails that I'll be answering questions about um, that relate to friends. So I thought it was perfect. Like I give a disclaimer at the beginning of all of these videos, my experience could very well be different from yours or your friends or... You know, it doesn't matter, like not all of our experiences are going to be the same. So I'm just giving personal, take it with a grain of salt because it could be different for you. So a little bit of backstory about me in case you're new. Sorry, this strap is going to keep falling throughout the video. But in case you're new to my channel, I transitioned um, in 2014. Well, I'm still transitioning. When I was in high school, I graduated in 2013. From 10th grade to 12th grade, I was very androgynous. I wore a fuck ton of makeup. I wore high heels every single day to high school. I wore girls clothes every single day to high school. And I wore makeup almost every single day. So I was very, very androgynous. When I transitioned, it wasn't like going from like manly man to like woman. It was very like androgynous to woman, you know? So like I have some of my same clothes that I used to wear. Anyway, for me, this could be a lot different from some of you, some of you um, people who go from like a football player to like a trans woman, you know, etc. Mind you, I expected to keep all of my friends because I, like I said, I didn't go from a football player to you know, what I am now. So I just like, you know, was like, okay, well, if people already accept me, then they're gonna accept me like, you know, identifying as a woman instead. Girl, was I fucking wrong. So I, what I did, yeah, made a new Facebook page, which is a tip I would give to you guys if you're coming out as trans. I made a completely new Facebook. So, and I let people add me. Um, because I didn't want to add people and then they like sub Facebook status me because that shit Bitch don't I just didn't want any drama. So I let people add me and I was Kind of devastated to be honest with how many people I was hoping would stay in contact with me and add me That didn't something I wish I would have known is friends are going to have like a little period of time where they accidentally call you. If I'm just gonna be using um, M to F, they're gonna call you he still, they're gonna call you by your old name and stuff like that. I will say that it is a little difficult, especially if you're like super serious about it. I know when I first started transitioning, when I first started transitioning, I know I wasn't like so serious about like everyone always calling me like Raiden and her and stuff like that. So if you're like get really offended by that stuff at the beginning, then it might be a little hard for you. And that goes with family too. Anyone who's known you previously is gonna have like a little learning period. I also wanna mention that I still get friend requests to this very day from people that knew me that are just like now coming around two or three years later. So keep that in mind just because someone might not um, accept you at first doesn't mean they will never accept you but I'm personally like this is just me personally I personally am like a little more standoffish with those type of people like why couldn't you accept me when I was at my hardest point you know like you weren't there for me now why the fuck should I let you in my life now you know but that just might be me but um I mean again I think it's better late than never but still like I don't know I'm always like stingy ass and that goes with family too sometimes it does take a little bit longer for them to come around but they hopefully should come around once they know that you're not like kidding that you're not like playing Halloween and dress up um, and that you're serious about this I also wanted to answer these two questions I got regarding friends and transition uh, and I'm going to keep these people anonymous. You can email me at Raiden. What is it? Raiden advice at yahoo.com for any questions you want me to answer. And you can tell me in the email if you want to remain anonymous or not. And I will respect those wishes. 
So the first person says that their mates, I'm assuming they're from England or something, but their like guy friends are finding it uncomfortable because they feel like they lost one of their like best guy friends and they don't know what to do. They're worried that they're gonna lose people because of their identity. All right, this is how I feel about this. And I definitely was like, didn't think like this before, like while I was beginning to transition. But I think at the end of the day, if you know in your heart of hearts and you are dead serious on living as your true self and stuff, I think if people are going to cut you out of their lives. They're not gonna accept you pretty much. I think that is the pettiest shit ever and those people shouldn't be in your lives anyway because if it was something stupid like, oh, I really wanna dye my hair green or something. Sorry if you have green hair. I think that's a beautiful color but I'm talking about for me. Someone didn't support that then that would be like one thing but your fucking identity someone not supporting that then i don't want you in my life anyway and it's really hard because i did lose some friends um i forgot to mention that but i did lose some friends so yeah i did lose some friends and it sucked but you know they shouldn't have been in my life anyway oh and i also want to mention this was so petty um a few months after i started transitioning and had changed like my instagram and all that this fucking bitch messaged me on Instagram DM'd me. It was like when DMs first came out and was like, Hey, um, can you help me with hair extensions? Oh, by the way, um, yeah, I don't really like support this whole thing that you're doing. So I'm going to still call you P and stuff. Bitch, I have never hit the block button so fucking fast. So unnecessary. It does suck, but I think in the long run, you will meet so many nicer people who will support you and stuff. So you might lose some, you win some, no. You gain some, you lose some, but at the end of the day, those people shouldn't really be in their in your lives anyway if throw a fit over something, so whatever. Um, but I would also just reassure them that they're not losing one of their mates. They're gaining a happier friend, so... That's all I can say about that. And then someone said that they wanna, they wanna come out to their friend, but they don't know if they should do it in text or real life. I came out to all my friends. I came out to my parents and family in real life. And then my friend, my best friend, I'm pretty sure I came out over the phone because for me, that's more comfortable than being in person especially if they have like a negative reaction. You know, personally, I would do it over the phone or whatever you're more comfortable doing. I think it probably is better to do in person, but if you're like a scared ass bitch like me, then the phone is like the only route. I hope this helps a little bit. Email me at rateandadvice at yahoo.com and I will make a video, a similar video like this. You guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.